My name is Brett and I like to go fast. Of course, we're not worried about getting them a little muddy, as you can see, because they're meant to be ridden. My name is Scott and I ride mini bikes. Most people, you know, have these bikes in their garages and stuff and they're just fully restored and immaculate or rotting. And uh, ours aren't. They're getting used, they're getting ridden, and they get ridden hard, so. Hi, my name's Neil. I started riding when I was 10. I was riding the same thing I'm riding now, just less pretty and less functional. You know, it's always been a quest to find the next mini bike, the next power class, the next faster mini bike. And we want them to look good so that when we beat everybody else, we can rub it in their faces and say, hey, look at that. That's right. But after doing the first no spoke, everything changed. And I had to have more mini bikes, one for every class, one in every color. And uh, it really blossomed into this wonderful collection of, of mini trails that are, they're not museum pieces, and that's what I love about them. I mean, I like the track that we have here because it's available, but I hurt myself the most on this track. <laughs> La valse de Pont d'Amour. La valse de Pont over on this side. I enjoyed mini bikes rule. I eat a lot of sandwiches. A lot of sandwiches and I don't really like them. Shotgun. I eat microwave corn dogs every day. At least three of them. <laughs> Riding with Ben is rather interesting. He's one of the few people who's actually dedicated to this sport. I look at Brett and I go, wow, he is really talented, man. He can handle that bike like he's floating on a cloud. He can just slide around those turns and he guns it. He always finds a way to make things not only better for himself, but better for everyone else. Neil, I don't know anyone who has got more determination than Neil to just go out there and try and beat someone. You can always rely on him to give you a hand when you need it. He is in my mind, the most competitive out of all of us. The best part of riding with Scott is he's consistent. He is, without a doubt, my biggest competition. And if at the end of the day I can beat him, I feel like I can beat anybody because he's always right there. He's always pushing me to do just a little bit better, a little bit faster. Look, I found the Sputnik satellite. Oh, you're missing a few prongs. I think there's something. Oh, this is cool. We just took a tour of Nick's shop. Is the thrill a minute? Join us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just like sneezed all over my arm. All right, so this is our engine dyna that we built. 
This is a three function dyno. We can run three different styles of configurations on here. We've got one set up for our Honda 50, 70, 88 motors, or we could run our go-kart motors off of this sprocket here. We've got it attached with the chain to the sprocket of the motor. It rotates the whole assembly there. And from to the given the mass, the motor, we can calculate the, the rotational wheel, inertia which is of the mass blast the shield here it's on the axle that are contained within that, two by two. The mass of the wheel rotating past the curve. We just finished up here with the engine and rocket so that it doesn't overrun the engine once you get off the throttle. You don't have to pull by the motor and put it in the work into power. That way, all you have to do is take the bike off the track and put it on the dyno. And this is what's going to make us go faster by building better horsepower. We're gonna beat everyone. My name is Zach, and I ride the Widowmaker. You suck. Thank you. I love the encouragement. Love this earth I travel like oh a shepherd and his herd. Nice and hang on, hang on, black like and See that first section though? No feet lift. I haven't seen you done that yet. I've done that the whole time. Oh. If I die, who will tend my children? Who will be by the side? Nice and hang on, hang on. Black Because I don't want to be an idiot again. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I can handle this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kyle. What inspires me to keep riding, what really keeps me going is that I, that I, I'm out there with my family. I'm out there having a good time with my family. There isn't any one person that inspires me, but it's a group thing. I get to be out there and I get to have fun. My name is Nick and I ride motorcycles and I race cars and just about anything else that has a motor. My first bike was a 2001 Yamaha Pee 50. Two stroke. Whatever happened to that bike? It's still around, still kicking. That's uh, my beginner bike that seems to be a lot more reliable than your beginner bike, I must say. Um. Why are you doing this? He's a gifted sweeper. Three. Three Give tries. Three tries, I'll get to the top. I think I'm glad I brought my goggles to it.
that wasn't my fault. I went in there and I went to put my foot out to balance and it got hung up on the foot pegs. I'm a trained professional. That way. Well, oh boy. It's like a dance more than anything. You have two partners. You both have to trust the other oh, partner. Don't, I don't want to listen to you. You have to have complete faith that the other person isn't going to screw up. I like to be unpredictable. <laughs> no, he just is. <laughs> Nick comes from a really strong racing background and that makes for some really extreme competition on the track. He's a good race car driver. He's one of my best competitions on the track. Between him and my brother, we have the best races that I've ever had. Kyle's a really unique rider, and it's not because he's the fastest of all of us, but it's because he has a no-quit, very determined attitude. Um, He's one of those guys that you can ask him to do something and he'll always give it a try, you know, always going to try it once uh, to see if he can do it or not. And uh, when you're around people like that, it just makes for a really fun riding atmosphere and some extremely good competition. Jared's a real joy to have around, and even though he doesn't ride a mini bike, uh, he still brings a great positive attitude to everything that he does, and uh, it really motivates me to include him in everything that we do and make him part of our race team. That means you gotta go through the weeds to stick the pass. That means you gotta go through the weeds to stick the pass. That's Nick's line. <laughs> the difference between our track and this track is that our track has been there since the beginning of time, and this track was born about two hours ago. Fire right up. This is why we don't let Scott use the bathroom. <laughs> this is how trails are born.
I jumped it. I overcleared it by just about too much. Well, the only way I think is just basically you catch them on the straight, just kind of like almost hit their tire, but then just pop around. That's what I think it is. <laughs> yep. Let's just burn their tire off and just like. Or are you gonna be just behind us? I'd probably be following Nick, and then I'll pass him, and it'll look good. He thinks he's gonna pass me. I think he's mistaken. I should have brought a bigger bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God! Come on, Neil. Get in the game. <laughs> oh God! Come on, get up. Push it, Brett. Push. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I took the inside on Nick running into the last corner. It was a little slippery, so I grabbed a tree, hooked myself around there, it was running good. And then my head hit a tree out of nowhere. We are jumping airplanes today over massive jumps. It's hard to fathom. Damn it. Whoa, that's pretty steep. Harbor 
up and turn you to better pull your britches up. Spit on your hand, rub them on your knees. The devil's right behind you, don't you wait until he catches up. Get on with the John, for God's sake, please. I said hard work a ton, I know you need coax, and I'm down on my knees, and I don't know what to do, it's a serious matter now, and nobody is joking, the hour has come, and it's up to you. Well, listen here, Johnny, the time for stalling, we're all in deep water, right up to our chin. Devil is a drool, and the angels are calling, get yourself together and commence to begin. Hard work John, the restoration process, always an exciting time. Shadows on the sun, do believe a light is come on, John, and show us how, how. Here, here I am, I'm here to help. I have to work with. See what I have to work with? Oh, you scratched the paint. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be putting the same exact tube back in. Hey, I don't like very good grips either, so we're not using this. Probably kind of hard. Probably. So in my situation, for all the world to see, gone is my innocence. All that's left is me. Rising love, just to tear me down. I can be a perfect stranger, but just not now. First, insomnia drain my life. Gone is the stranger from a forgotten time. Buy me out of the windowsill. No, it ain't about my life, and it ain't about my will. That was a good one. I, I could hear it. I could hear the power. In that. I could hear it too. It's loud. like animal cruelty on my video. You're a sick person. We're gonna have about seven to eight riders, um, glow sticks, fire. I told you it's light. <laughs> Get a fire extinction. <laughs> yeah! It was a moonless night. It was an empty sky. It was a bad excuse, I was the only fool inside. It was Howdy. a crazy mom. thought, a bad man's walk it was. Inaugural ceremony. <laughs>
Spooky. The dangers of mini bike riding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wouldn't be a full day if somebody didn't end up bloodied and broken. If I didn't end up bloodied and broken. <laughs> Break it? I certainly hope not. Well, it don't look straight, son. Vroom! 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 There is no first of the year, there is no Christmas, there are no birthdays, there is the no spoke. I think what really changed everything about mini bike riding was the no spoke for me. You prepare for the no spoke 364 days out of the year. The name of the no spoke comes from the wheels on the mini bikes that are entered in the no spoke that have no spokes. Look at the wheels, there's no spokes. <laughs> what worries you most about riding? Losing. No spoke is a good thing. Parties, motorcycles. This is a serious interview. This is, <clears throat> this is, what has this ever been serious? Nothing else exists except me and the bike. And it feels good. You know, you gotta be on top of your game, you gotta be riding every weekend and there's that danger involved. We're all out here to ride and have fun. This is gonna be freaking hilarious. What are you looking forward to at the next fight? Winning. <laughs> Can't let him pass me. Some people might say we take our mini bike riding a little too seriously. And we do. What do you think? You wanna go fast? Now the no spoke is something that every person should experience.
It's a hell of a day, but it really isn't complete without one final race. It's all about this right here. It's all about the camaraderie, the brotherhood that we create through riding the mini bikes. There's six guys that could be doing anything they want with their free time on the weekends. And, you know, as a way to connect and keep in touch with each other, we choose as one of them to go out and ride mini bikes. <laughs>